Are you ready to dive into the world of game development? Then look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Unreal Engine 5 in 2023. This powerful game engine is the go-to choice for many developers, and with its intuitive interface and cutting edge features, it's the perfect tool for beginners. So whether you're a complete novice or a seasoned pro looking to brush up on your skills, this video is for you. So join me as I explore the basics of Unreal Engine 5 and teach you how to create your own stunning game worlds. Let's get started. The first step in creating your own game with Unreal Engine 5 is understanding the editor. This is where you'll spend most of your time as a developer and it is where you'll bring your game to life. The interface of the Unreal Engine 5 editor is intuitive and easy to navigate. On the top bar you'll find the main menu where you can access all the different tools and features you need to create your game. On the bottom after pressing Control space you'll see the content browser where you can access all the assets you've imported into your project. And on the right side you'll find the details panel where you can adjust the properties of your selected assets. On the right here you'll also see the world outliner where you can see all the assets currently placed in your level. The layout of the editor is divided into several main areas. The viewport is where you can see your game world and move around it. The scene outliner shows a hierarchical view of the objects in your scene. The details panel is where you can edit the properties of the selected objects. And the toolbar provides access to various tools and functions such as the move, rotate and scale tools. The tools in the Unreal Engine 5 editor are designed to make it easy for you to create and manipulate your game world. The move tool allows you to move objects around in the scene, the rotate tool lets you rotate objects, and the scale tool allows you to resize objects. You can also use the transform gizmo to move, rotate and scale objects simultaneously. With a basic understanding of the interface, layout and tools of the Unreal Engine 5 editor, you're now ready to start creating your own game. In the next section, I'll show you how to set up a new project and import assets. So let's get to it. Now that you have a basic understanding of the editor, it's time to create a new project and start bringing your game to life. To create a new project, simply click on the File menu and select New Project, or simply open the editor. You'll then be presented with a wizard that will guide you through the process of creating a new project. You can choose from a variety of templates, such as first person, third person adventure, or a blank template. You can also choose the location where you want to save your project and give it a name, as well as choosing the quality, whether you want starter content, and if you want ray tracing. Once your project is created, you'll be taken to the editor where you can start building your game world. In this section, I will show you how to set up a new level and import assets. To set up a new level, click on the File menu and select New Level. You can choose from a variety of templates such as a blank level or a level with a pre-built environment. Once you have your level set up, you can start importing assets. Unreal Engine 5 has a wide range of built-in assets that you can use, such as characters, vehicles, and environment elements. You can also import your own custom assets, such as 3D models and textures. To import assets, simply drag and drop them into the content browser. There are also hundreds of thousands of assets on the Unreal Marketplace for you to use. To add these into your projects, simply purchase one, locate it in your Unreal Vault in the Epic Games Launcher, and hit add to project. With your level set up and assets imported, you're now ready to start building your game world. In the next section, I'll show you how to use lighting and texturing to bring your game world to life. Now that you have your game world set up, it's time to bring it to life with lighting and texturing. Lighting is one of the most important elements of game development. It sets the mood and atmosphere of your game world and helps to create a sense of depth and realism. Unreal Engine 5 has a wide range of lighting tools that you can use to create different lighting effects. You can use the level lighting settings to control the overall lighting of your level, and you can also use point lights, spotlights, and directional lights to create specific lighting effects. Texturing is another important element of game development. It adds detail and realism to your game world, and helps to create a sense of immersion. Unreal Engine 5 has a wide range of texturing tools that you can use to apply textures to your assets. You can use the material editor to create custom materials and apply them to your assets, and you can also use the texture painter to paint textures directly onto your assets. Now with a basic understanding of lighting and texturing, you're now ready to start bringing your game world to life. In the next section, I'll show you some advanced features of Unreal Engine 5 that you can use to add interactivity to your game and create a more immersive experience. Now that you have your game world set up and you've learned how to use lighting and texturing, it's time to dive into some of the more advanced features of Unreal Engine 5. The Blueprint system is a visual scripting system that allows you to add interactivity and logic to your game without writing any code. It allows you to create custom events and actions that respond to player input and control the behavior of your game objects. With Blueprints, you can create complex gameplay mechanics such as enemy AI, item pickups, and interactive objects. These nodes are all written in C++, 
but it's not going to expose you to any directly. However, you can of course use C++ as well if you do want to. The particle system is another powerful feature of Unreal Engine 5 that allows you to create realistic effects such as fire, smoke, water and more. It allows you to create custom particles with different properties such as size, colour and movement and apply them to your game world. The particle system can be used for a wide range of effects from simple explosions to complex weather systems. The physics engine is another advanced feature of Unreal Engine 5 that allows you to create realistic physics based interactions in your game world. You can use the physics engine to create realistic rigid body dynamics such as objects falling, bouncing and colliding with each other. The physics engine also allows you to create joints like hinge, ball and socket which can be used to create interactive and believable characters, vehicles and other objects. With an understanding of these advanced features you're now ready to take your game development skill to the next level. You have the knowledge and tools you need to create a truly immersive gaming experience. So now it's time to wrap up what you've learned and give you some tips on how to continue your game development journey. So let's get to it. Before I do my final conclusion of this video, I just wanted to say this may have been a little bit fast paced. I'm trying out something new. This video isn't the most in depth on how to actually get started. I'm just covering some basic topics and I'm going to show you where you can go to advance upon these. It's just more exposing you to this and then you can continue on with it afterwards. I do want to do a video further down the future where I basically redo this video but a lot more in depth. It will be a couple hours long of a video. So let me know if that's something that you're looking forward to. But let's get back on to the conclusion of the video. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of my Unreal Engine 5 for beginners video. You now have a solid foundation of knowledge and skills to start creating your own games. I've covered the basics of the Unreal Engine 5 editor including how to navigate the interface, create a new project and import assets. I've also shown you how to use lighting and texturing to bring your game more to life and how to use advanced features like the blueprint system, particle system and physics engine to create a more immersive gaming experience. To continue your game development journey, I recommend that you practice what you've learned by experimenting with different tools and features of Unreal Engine 5. You can also try creating different types of games and experimenting with different styles of game development. I'd recommend entering plenty of game jams to really test out and hone your skills. And if you do want any further help with any more mechanics or anything else with the engine, definitely check out the rest of my YouTube channel as at this point I have absolutely hundreds of useful and helpful tutorials to help you get started making your own video games. And don't forget to share your creations with the world. You can publish your games on platforms such as Steam, Xbox, Playstation, Itch.io or even just share them on social media and online communities for feedback and inspiration. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials and game development content. And I can't wait to see what you create. So go ahead, take your first steps towards becoming a game developer today and thank you for watching. <laughs>